Hi, this is Sean. I have another word from the Lord, and today is July 2nd, 2021. Before reading what the Spirit of the Lord gave me for today, to say today, uh, the Spirit also brought me to Galatians 3, so I'm going to read that first. Galatians 3, it starts out saying, Justification by faith. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, that you should not obey the truth? before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish? Having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain? If indeed it was in vain. Therefore, he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Just as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness, therefore know that, that only those who are of faith are sons of Abraham, or daughters. And the Scripture, foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, In you all the nations shall be blessed. So then, those who are our faith are blessed with believing Abraham. The word of the Lord that came from the Spirit yesterday, starting yesterday, I got about a paragraph, and then today he uh, finished it out. And the first word that he said and I wrote down was operations. So today, uh, this word is going to be titled Operations. Operations. Operations of freedom and courage. I see the Holy Spirit doing open heart surgery on his ecclesia, his holy remnant, his church. Hearts will be worked on in the open, in his presence, in his glory. Vultures of death try to circle around America. But they will be chased off territories from my eagles of life and the mighty lion of Judah, Jesus. Big sharks in American culture are going to be caught in nets that I have set and will be raised so that they will be exposed from the murky waters in American culture and politics. They will be removed from their apex of influence and places of authority. Caged observers will be released to freely reveal truth about the sharks they have viewed. Truth observers will provide rock-solid evidence, and they will have my protection and favor due to the bloody nature of these big sharks' actions. They have shown their rows of razor-sharp teeth, but their intimidation and aggression will no longer be effective or tolerated because my spirit and word says no weapon formed will prosper the spirit of the lord also says don't be afraid to swim in the deep waters for i am with you don't stop paddling with me don't stop moving in the spirit keep the course i lay before you keep in my courts hear my higher court rulings in heaven Say what I'm saying. Release my authority on the earth. Start with one sound, one word. Then let my full rulings be heard upon and about you from the chambers of my heart. Take dominion and territory back from the enemy. Tell death he has to back up because Jesus has stepped in. Back up, death. Jesus has stepped in. Healing, restoration, love is stepping in. In Jesus' name, full authority of healing, restoration, and love throughout America. Deceptions will be revealed, shifting the American people and the American church to truth. In Jesus' name, amen.